Kawada-san talks about a productivity miracle and I think you're suggesting maybe there's a better name. What would you call it if you were teaching what Dr. Kawada-san is teaching? Only miracle. Only miracle. What Dr. Kawada is teaching is amazing. Finance and the finance department and the way we account for money is not supporting the initiative of reducing the lead time in a factory or improving the cash flow velocity. I, I, I think that what Dr. Kawada provides is two metrics specifically that will, if adopted, improve productivity initiatives everywhere in the world. It is absolutely opposite and different that you said. Let me explain before you start recording. Dr. Professor Kavada teach us how to speak together in the same language. Let me tell you something. Sometime in your company, you think you are Canadian, you are speaking English or French together, you are speaking same language, you are coming from same culture, you understand each other, you have great history together. Never. It is not like this. Even inside one company, we speak together, we work together, but we are not understanding each other. We don't know we don't know what is your demands, what is your request, what is your interest, and how we can support and communicate each other correct. Professor Kavada teach us from different point of views how we can zoom or resume our point of views inside company and how we can understand each other much better. This is the total thing Professor Kavada did for us. Better understanding and better negotiating. Okay. He teach us without, before that, without we are working as a work group. But after Professor Kavada, we realize that whatever we did and whatever we think about work group is 100% different than type of work group he teach to us. I want to explain you this. If you think it is okay, I can jump in this issue and I can uh, make it more realistic and make a very uh, simple uh, samples for you. What you're saying, sir, is Dr. Kawada-san is more about eliminating the waste of communication, all the communication waste we have, more than anything else. That's pretty amazing. I'm, I'm amazed at that. Uh, can you first introduce yourself because I don't know you <laughs> and you don't know me. Where are you located? Tell me about the size of your company. Tell me about um, uh, the markets you serve. Go ahead. Okay, I'm uh, Alborz Majdun. I'm from Iran. I'm CEO of Abad Garan Group. You can find my company on internet uh, as uh, abadgarangroup.com. I'm founder of the company. My company age is nearly 25 years old. Uh, our size of company is uh, nearly $150 million uh, company. Uh, we are uh, producing uh, construction chemicals and we are exploring our business into different type of uh, polymers. Uh, mostly construction chemical is uh, using in field of uh, construction and development. 
especially construction chemicals, uh, making the buildings more durable and increasing the quality of the construction. Okay, very good. Um, so why did you uh, even engage in the process called you want more productivity? How did the problem come up? Okay. Uh, when uh, you are serving your materials in blue ocean, I mean the market without any competition, without any competitor, it is fantastic and mostly you are not thinking about productivity. But when you are uh, serving your material uh, to the red ocean, that means lots of competition, lots of competitors. Uh, always you must concern about your buying price and your selling price and making everything more tight. So you should think about productivity and how and how better you can decrease your uh, finished price and something like that. So we finally we realized that oh, we should do something. We should find a solution to make it workable because we cannot continue in this red ocean. We should sign out or we should renew our point of view. Okay, sign out means we should leave this marketplace. Exactly. Yeah, how many sharks are in the water with you? <laughs> oh, 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 in the day we start, we had 52 competitors in small market like Iran construction division. But now, we have only four competitors. We are the only shark who was survive and mostly eat the other fishes. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very good thing. You are getting uh, this very good. Less blood because all the fish are gone. The sharks are gone. There's four instead of 52. Uh, congratulations first. Thanks. Did, did Dr. Kawada-san's methodology help? With this? Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, to be crystal clear, uh, Professor Kavada, uh, we are telling it or we are calling it productivity. But Professor Kavada teach us how to understand each other and how to speak with each other without, in the beginning, without we are speaking for C. Persian or mother language together. But after at least eight years or 10 years uh, working and learning from Professor Kavada, we realized that in the beginning, we didn't even understand each other. We spoke Farsi together, but we didn't understand each other correctly. I am so in interested in this because I think this is the uh, an unwritten, uh, but very much understood waste of communication. But what is one example? Yes. For example, in our company, we have, or in any company, we have different division. One division called sales. The other one is financial department. The other part is QC control, production part, R&D department. All the team inside R&D department or QC department, or um, operation department, they thought in the beginning they are working together. R&D is developing the formulation, giving the formulation to the production department. Production department is producing fantastic. QC is doing blah, blah, and sale is uh, selling the material, bringing the money inside the company, but... Now we are working together as the methodology of Professor Kavada. It's called cross-functional work group. On cross-functional work group, 
everybody from all the sections or sectors or divisions or company must work together in the down level Gemba or to the top level. As a managing director of company, I changed all the processes in the company to cross-functional, to make everybody work together in same time, in one process. Let me give you a very simple example. If you are a coach of football team, before going to a match, you at least play the football match of your competitor, you are analyzing the forward or the goalkeeper or defense of your competitor, and then you will decide how to play with this competitor. In our company, in all companies, in all production companies, your competitor is muda, is on productivity. Raw materials wants to make you fault. Machines wants to make you fault. They want to put ball in your goal. So before starting the production, one employee from QC team, R&D team, production team, sales department, they are sitting together. They are reviewing what happened in last production of product X. What faults we faced in past one year or two year in production. So when we start the production, 100% without about machines, man, measurement, material, and all the M we need to think about. The first thing that comes to my mind is this is the dream for every company is to service the customer um, instead of working in a silo based organization, you know, let's cut through the organization, put the right people to serve the product, which goes to the customer. Mm -hmm. We all know that there's a lot of problems in doing that people. The first problem is probably people will say, that's not my job. Would you agree with that? Uh, first of all, you should teach your employee. They are all responsible. They are all inside one boat. In the beginning, yes, I faced with this problem. When big and major customer complaint came out, everybody tried to put the ball on other field. That was not my job. Someone else is responsible. But now everybody are responsible. They are in the same boat. They will go down, I mean think, or they can continue. So uh, in methodology of Professor Kavada, everything must start together. That means increasing the knowledge of the employees. Uh, your company can grow when your knowledge of uh, when the knowledge of your employee increase and develop and explore. So you should invest on knowledge or explore the knowledge of your company. So we have a methodology to teach to all employees what we need. First of all, we find their talent. Then we decide which division we need this talent. 
maybe after two or three years, after lots of uh, testing, finally we find the talent of one of our employees. So very fast we will change the uh, working place, maybe from R&D department to sales department or from sales department to QC control. It, it depends on talent, what we invest on employee and what we get from them. So let me wrap it up. Uh, to explore the uh, productivity, you should invest on knowledge of your employees and you should teach them how they can think like each other, how they can support it, each other and make all of them responsible to all the uh, business cases. It's a miracle for business. Am I correct? Uh, business, uh, productivity, quality, and uh, research and innovation. Especially we have uh, more than 10 chemical innovations in our podcast. And again, is this because Kawadasan taught you how to find the innovations? or how to speak together clearly? Uh, how to find the talent, how to explore the talent, and how to communicate with, with each other in specific point of view. Okay, excellent. I'm gonna ask now for, for you to give me an idea of how long it took from the time you engaged kawada -san to the time you started eating up the other sharks in the ocean. <laughs> How long did that take? From the first months, we get fantastic results. From the first month, it is nearly 10 years. We are um, continuing this, uh, I believe, uh, knowledge or miracle, but it came up from the first day we start in after one month, and we find out lots of uh, topics we should concentrate on. After one year, uh, we became uh, Iran. Uh, we became one of 100 good companies. Wow. But in previous two years, Abad Garan became Iran's best chemical manufacturer chosen, chosen from Ministry of Industry and uh, standard organization and gave, they gave us a gold award. Wow. Okay. I'm, I'm engaged. W tell me what happened after a month. What was the one thing that somebody could physically see or engage in your company and say, that's excellent. Mm -hmm. What was that? Uh, in the first months, um, uh, when we sit together, we realize that we are all speak Farsi, but we are not understanding each other correctly. Uh, whatever is, for example, as a QC department, whatever is my concern is not a sales department concern. So after that, we, when we took the steps to how to communicate each other better, and how we can understand our concerns much better. Okay. That was the first step, speaking together, understanding our concerns. So no, normally, even if you said we understood that we weren't speaking the same language, that is enough in one month. So tell me about the steps after that. What were the next steps after you realized we're not talking the same language? Okay. Mostly when, as a, for example, top management, when you go to financial department, they give you a report. For example, what happened in past months? What, ha what was your profit in past week? What was your profit in past year? How much we have stock for now? When you go 
normally when you go to financial department, they give you history. But as a top management of the company, I should know where I'm going, where I, I'm driving. Think I'm a driver. I need very crystal clear glass in front of me. But financial department is a small mirror somewhere here, and they are only showing me behind. What is this? So Professor Kavada teach us how we can make this glass, front glass, crystal clear, and how we can put more sensors like auto drive we face in Tesla system. I love the analogy that looking in your rear view mirror is less important today as looking in the front view windshield. I love that analogy. Uh, but what physically did he do to force some of those indicators for, mm -hmm. for you to understand where you're going? What, what changed? Okay. First, uh, I choose some uh, uh, very thirsty, I mean thirsty knowledge. Uh, very thirsty people in my company in different divisions, from R&D, QC, production, sales department, financial department, IT team, we sit together. First of all, in past, as a chairman of the company, I decided what I want my company to be in next 10 years. But from methodology of Professor Kavada, he told me, you should change yourself. You should let your employee to be part of designing team for your future. When they sit together, when they think together, when they are part of designing team of the company, then you will see what will happen when you are going to process. So I changed my steps because normally uh, I decided uh, very fast, maybe in 24 hours, maximum 48 hours, my decision is being made through uh, consulting with my consultant uh, department. So uh, in the beginning, I wait nearly at least 20 days. I ask them to analyze the market. I let them to understand what will happen to our business in future. And after 20 days, they came to me with lots of fantastic ideas. What opportunities we have, what potentials we have, and how we can make it happen very fast. So in the beginning, I let them to come um, to a I believe a brainstorming room. They brought lots of ideas. Then we started to put check marks. We started to choose the best ideas. Finally, after one month, we understood where we want to go in next 10 years. So wow. we choose the target after one month. Normally, I... Uh, choose this at, in 48 hours. It was not as great as it is right now, but after one month, only waiting for the team and let them understand better, I had fantastic targets for my company. Here's, here's my two questions now. Number one, you said you chose thirsty people were they at different levels in the organization or were they your regular directors? Uh, they were regular directors I chose from worker level. 
and the uh, VP level, it uh, depends uh, how I uh, trust them and how uh, after many years working with them, uh, I uh, know them. Uh, I want uh, I wanted to be digger team. I wanted uh, I want the team to be digger, digging around. Yeah, about okay. all the topics they found. Okay, good, good. So you were looking for the criteria in the individual that says, "I want more." Thirsty means I I want to dig for more solutions, and yes. they have to have that curiosity. Okay, very good. Number two, do you think this would have worked with kawada san if it was anybody else other than the big guy at the top, which is you, the managing director? <laughs> do you think anybody else could have done this other than you in your company? In the beginning, no. But now I never do anything without consulting with my team, with management team. Oh, very good. Um, okay, so when you first met Kawada, what was the reservation? Did you have any uh, reservations about engaging him? Uh, did anything say, let's see how it goes, or did you just jump in and do it? Uh, sometimes you are eating pizza and you decide to eat lasagna but sometimes you are as much as hungry that you can eat your hand i was in this situation i had no way the only solution was to uh, find out something so uh, we, it was in the beginning, it was a miracle. We realized that uh, he is consulting Toyota company and he has 50 years um, background to make Toyota uh, more productive. So when we started with Professor Kovada, he told us I don't have experience in field of chemicals, but... I can give you the uh, point of view. Then you can realize how you can make it workable and you can make it localized in Iraq. Wow. Okay, so that didn't stop you at all, knowing his experience with Toyota was 50 years, uh, but nothing to do with your industry. He just said, look, you, you take the knowledge and you transfer it to your industry, and you were okay with that? Yes, 100%. Oh, good, okay. Now, on a scale of one to 10, mm -hmm. when you engaged Kawada-san, did he meet your expectations? What number would you give him? Uh, uh, it is kind of joking, but more than 100%. Okay, <laughs> it is 11. Possible, but Okay, so I still want to talk about the gap mm -hmm. from 10 to 11 or 12 or 15 or 100. What was the extra? What was, what was the extra things that, that Dr. Kawada did that said, wow, way over the top? Uh, first of all, profit. It is uh, much more than my expectation uh, right now, even week by week. Even today, when I check the profit of company, still it is increasing. And uh, it is kind of miracle for me. Uh, the reason is we are uh, buying better. In the beginning, we were customer of our supply chain. But now we are kind of shareholder of our um, supply chain. In the beginning, always we bargain for decreasing the price, but now we are helping them. We are investing in our supply chain companies. We sometimes we are helping them for um, developing their knowledge, 
Sometimes we give them machinery. Sometimes we are consulting them to be more productive. So our supply chain team is our uh, family right now. In the beginning, we were only a customer. Then we, ca- we became a very good customer. Then we became critical customer. And now we are working as a family. We have lots of interest with each other. And uh, newly, uh, we will become shareholder, shareholder of lots of our uh, raw material manufacturers. We started to invest on them. We will become shareholder, shareholder of lots of our uh, raw material manufacturers. It was one of the uh, issues to help us to increase our profit. The other issue is uh, investing on uh, research and uh, making uh, more profitable material and uh, injecting how to inject the demand into market and how to give them solution, I mean material for solution. You've been working with Kawada San for eight years. If you didn't work with Kawada San, where would you be today? And uh, and you know where you are because you did work with Kawada San over eight years. How do you quantify in dollars or whatever? How do you quantify the extra business? Uh, I believe without Professor Kavada, we cannot survive from that red ocean we lived before with lots of competitors. So uh, I believe it could not survive. Maybe eight years ago, uh, we will face, we, we will bankrupt. We, we, excuse me, we were bankrupt. Uh, but now it is totally different. Wow. Okay. Oh, so good. Uh, now, what business are you in with the chemicals in construction? Who's your customer? And then what industry do you support? You, you support the construction industry, and that's got to be a big industry in Iran, yes? Yes. Uh, when we started with Professor Kavada, in our basket of product, we have nearly 55 uh, chemicals. And mostly they were adhesives and uh, some waterproofing materials. But right now, uh, we are producing more than 170 uh, chemicals. Uh, we are especially producing lots of polymers in field of concrete water reducers, waterproofing material, different type of growths. You are only uh, hearing uh, some new words from me. Let me explain it for you better. Uh, whatever we are producing is using uh, for uh, construction making the durable and more workable concrete, uh, best adhesives for everything. When you're producing a building, you need lots of adhesive. But in general, people know, for example, tile adhesive, when you want to glue the tile to the substrate. But we are producing different type of adhesives uh, waterproofing material, for example, for isolation roof, balconies, toilet, bathrooms, different type of sealants, paint, coating. Our produce, our product uh, is not using only in buildings. It is using for uh, power plants, dam, bridge, whatever is made by concrete. It need construction chemical. Are you transporting now, exporting outside of Iran? 
Yes, exactly. We uh, two years ago we uh, started to um, uh, check and going to details of our uh, nearest countries. I mean, Turkey, Iraq, Afghanistan, uh, Pakistan, Azerbaijan, Dubai, Qatar, Oman. We did the. I, I can tell I can tell you honestly we did fantastic uh, market study. So after market study, uh, we uh, find lots of opportunities. Uh, we signed uh, very good contracts. Contracts. We find lots of uh, opportunities. I mean, uh, transferring the knowledge, producing outside Iran exporting their material, doing B2B, doing B2C, lots of opportunities came out. That's such a success story. So I think of that, <laughs> I think of this success story and I'm wondering um, why, uh, first of all, Dr. Kawada is not so well known outside of working with Toyota and the companies that supply Toyota. And I guess it's because he, he doesn't have the marketing team that he probably deserves. So mm -hmm. you recommend Dr. Kawada Sun's training and teaching? Uh, 100%. And uh, I highly suggest you to start not from today, from yesterday. Oh, it's like start yesterday. Like, yeah. like right now, if you made the phone call, you're one day late calling him up. Yeah, you're already late. Okay, very good. It's great that he's willing to offer his help to companies outside of Japan. Mm -hmm. And so Iran is, you're one of them. That's great. Who would he start with? Would he start with everybody in the company and do a, a training with everybody? Or does he start with finance? Or does he start with the leadership? How does he engage? Uh, I believe the major problem of all companies in the world is managing director, board of directors, and VPs. Because all the employees will do whatever you are telling them. So first of all, managing director and board of director must decide to change themselves they must understand with change they can uh, make fantastic things. They can do pilot in different or anywhere of their companies and then we can bring it out. So first of all, managing director must change the uh, point of view and must understand if he don't change his behavior or she don't change her behavior, there is no miracle. Right. So when you say start at the top, very good, and they can try it, they create a pilot, which means uh, it's a go see. Let's go see if it works, but let's engage yeah. one group. Is that what you did? You did a pilot of one area? For example, if you have a, uh, if in your company you have a research uh, and development center, you can start it inside your research and development center with one product. Right. And then when you get the result, you can explore it all around your company. By the way, Professor Kavada is uh, helping you to create a custom-made dashboard. Mm -hmm. That means uh, as a top manager, you will see uh, very good uh, numbers, very good details from anywhere of your company. And you can understand when you press this area, which areas is going up and how you can make these numbers balance. Mm. That means after many years working with it, uh, then you can look out of your company, 
you can check the world economy you can check the uh, exchange rate of dollar euro gold and then you can decide okay in next six months what will happen to my stock what will happen to my sales the oil price is increasing what will happen to my raw material then you understand how you can buy better and how you can sell it better that is excellent now i said let's talk about doing a pilot in an area and you said it's not really an area george what it is is a product value stream so you'll have a dashboard for that product in the marketplace which goes through the company am i correct 100 percent correct okay that's a big difference that's a big difference big difference in how uh, some companies think they think let's start in a uh, machine shop or in mixing or some department but it's not about the department it's about the product servicing the customers throughout the organization very good um, anything else to add a fantastic, a yeah. fantastic uh, example from our uh, production department uh, in the beginning with same equipment, I'm giving you this example. They produce uh, with one machine, 300 tons per month, and they thought they are nearly dying. It is very heavy job. We are going to die. We cannot continue with this. But believe me, with same machine, with same employees, they are producing 1,500 tons per month and they are waiting for more. Yeah. That team, the previous team, didn't know how to fix a small problem in the system of these machines, these reactors. But now, all of them can program the machines. That means all of them these employees know knowing much more than before and they can manage everything much better. They are not waiting for contractors to come and serve them. They are the contractors and they are doing the production. Okay, I agree. It's a miracle to go from where you are to threefold, three times the productivity, right? Three times the product. But how long did it take from where you were to three times? How much time went by? Uh, I believe it took uh, two years. But the, in first six months, it became double. And after two years, it was nearly triple. Okay. <laughs> double it in six months. This Okay. So forget the productivity miracle. This is a miracle with Kawada-san who who works with so many companies at Toyota, supplying Toyota, and has decided to expand his services across the world. And here's a company in Iran with the mountain showing us the way. Thank you so much. And how do you say your name again, sir? Albors. Albors. And Albors will be available to expand to Greece. So any Greeks out there that know me, please call Albors in Iran in the construction industry and if you want work outside of the vicinity call him it seems like if he just doubles every three years his productivity he'll do even better uh, thank you so much for doing this interview uh from the bottom of my heart i can't believe what i'm hearing uh and and i know it's real because i know i know somebody who knows you so very good thank you do you have any questions of me before we wrap up uh, that was very fruitful for me. You can call me anytime and I wish you fantastic. Fantastic is waiting for you. Don't lose your chance. Fantastic's always waiting. You just got to pick up the ball and start going. Kill another shark and have, have their food because sharks are like that.
But now it is much different and it is all about productivity. And let me tell you something. Whatever we are producing is helping Iran people, I mean people, to live better. Having better houses, having better uh, drinking water, and having better life. So, uh, believe me, when uh, Mr. Azimi told me we will have this interview, Mr. George has lots of viewers, uh, many people will see, I was nearly shaking, and I asked the uh, board of directors, uh, am I ready to go to sanction list or not? But finally they told me, oh, don't worry, this guy is much different. You can continue with this. So I'm very happy to have this having this meeting with you anytime. If if it was uh, fruitful for your uh, viewers and you have more questions, I'm available. But only 48 hours before, just let me know. Always I'm available for you. And believe me, Mr. Azimi is uh, one of uh, our board of director consultant. He helped me so much in past 10 years. I learned so much from him. He has fantastic experience with Japanese, com Japanese company and American companies. He has experience in production of Nissan. And uh, I learned so much from Mr. Azimi. We both are available if this interview and the uh, topic is uh, lovely and fruitful for your viewers anytime you can call us uh, in professor Kavada methodology is there is no need to live together as a, a husband and wife because as a teacher he give you a lesson you should study your lesson in as long as you want then you can come back to him give him the result and ask him, okay, what should I do next? What is my next step? And the methodology of Professor Kavada was fantastic. First, one time he sent a message to Mr. Azimi. If you called me and I didn't answer my Skype, I am, I, you can think I am dying. That means the teacher loved the student. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, uh, he's always available, and if he's not available, please set up a memorial for him <laughs> because he's dead. Okay, very good. <laughs> he, he sent me a letter like a, a master of uh, karate or judo or kung fu. Uh, in the beginning, he said white belt, hmm. yellow belt, green belt, then brown belt and black belt. One time I asked Mr. Azimi, Mr. Azimi, please come to my office. I have very good report for you. And Professor Kavada told me if I touch this point, that means in my company I have black belt. Mm. But, but I want to be done number one and done number two because after black belt, they can go more in right. uh, martial art. So I gave a report to Mr. Azimi. After Black Belt, we did this and we did that. Please uh, tell it to Professor Kavada and give his feedback to us. So it was very energetic. It was fantastic for me. And still I have that energy. Nice, nice. So it's about results. At the same time, it's about learning. So you got to do both. Get the results, do the learning, move your way up. I would love to make a uh, online course with uh, Kawada-san teaching all the ways using an example of a company. So what I would like you to consider, sir, is if we can use your company as an example of what he did and do an online course for the world, uh, give that some thought, talk to your board of directors, and get back to me if you're interested. 
The answer is 100% positive because everything is ready. There is no need for us to take more time and doing something extra. Mm -hmm. We have all the experience on the paper. Uh, Professor Kavada and Mr. Azimi teach us to make it one page lesson. And after eight or 10 years, we have lots of papers attached together as a book. Wow, well, wonderful. So every page is a lesson which could be a section in the course and it's all ready to go. Okay, I love it. I am so interested um, and I love his methodology because then he's not tied to you like husband and wife. It's more like do your lesson, come back, and then let's get you the next lesson. That's great. Exactly. I look forward when, to this. When you are running a very big company, you have lots of uh, cases in your mind. You are so much busy. If somebody is coming to you, is scratching your mind, you cannot concentrate on issue, and then you decide to get rid of that. Even it is fantastic. Even it is gold. Even right. it is brilliant. So the fantastic thing about Professor Kavada is he is coming to you, give you a lesson and make you thirsty. Then it is you to try to get the drink and come again to master. Nice.